Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to be educated before using life, money. Uh, first, we need to start with uh, saying uh, uh, Happy New Year and uh, we wish uh, every trader will have success here and a pleasant year to you and to your loved ones. I uh, always try to analyze every the first day of the year uh, trying and most of the time I predict it right uh, before we start covering any auto trade. Uh, in 2022 it's going to be different market. It's going to be a lot of volatility this year and uh, is going to filter a lot of the traders, amateur trading. Without education, they're going to be filtered out this year, probably over 60%. It's very hot in the market right now. A lot of things have changed in the market. And the volatility is coming. Maybe you're not going to see it on the first quarter, but it's going to be a wild ride this year. And um, and I strongly advise everyone, whether you are on any kind of trading, please try to get educated for free whenever, or try to practice by yourself before you start using real money and not knowing what to do. That year, again, I want to make sure and be clear about it, uh, that the market is all about whether you are auto trading or manual trading about timing in the market, when you're going to go in into market and when you get out in the market. Uh, auto trade by itself, you need to get your auto trades in time when it's tradable the market and get out when the market is sideways or got stuck between channels or there is a flat market. Another thing you have to understand uh, is uh, patient and disciplined. If you have a daily target 1000 and you have $700 today and you see the market is uh, struggling, call it off for today. It's no place to uh, test your luck in there. Uh, disciplined, patient, education, and always the market surprise us, always the market do what the opposite of the expectation always the proper timing it is the magic key in the market it's not your auto trade understand the market volatility understand to when you wake up in the morning which in the last 15 years training people I want to share this with everyone people are uneducated looking at technical chart the first five ten minutes they just turn on the auto trade they cut off their chances to be consistent by 60%. 40% is luck. You can increase your profit on any kind of auto trade, not my auto trade, or any, any kind of auto trade by looking at the technical chart for at least five minutes before you start auto trading. When you look at the chart and you become, or you have the eye for it, and you start seeing that maybe I need to wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes before you I start my auto trade. That can save you $200 bad trade. $200 a day, that's $50,000 a year. Average traders on Ninja Trader, they are somewhere around 5,000, the majority. Maybe you have some partial between 20, 25 and a small partial of the percentage uh, they are uh, above 250,000 so if you are calculating that looking at the market you're losing one trade every day in the morning you have $50,000 straight out your account and you are dealing with $5,000 account so you do the calculation and don't be fooled by some uh, cute guys telling you um, 
you optimize the auto trade you optimize the timing and then you should be fine because they are saying that to you because they don't have the knowledge to train you they only want you to optimize and get off their back and and they'll leave you alone they don't want to commit once you purchase that auto trade because they cannot help you most of them cannot even trade a paper bag they have to hire someone to come and start start talking about price action because they don't even know what is price action so today uh, i was very surprised it's a very slow day today and uh, what i find out if we i want to show you it's not the pnl as the others do we still have one trade on the 30-year treasury bond but this is not and we have another trade uh, 800 on another 30-year treasury bond those are the only two charts open what I want to show you today is uh, uh, how the market was is very on all those time frame you can see on a total different time frame the majority of those there were uh, there were very small trade which this type of an auto trade can take a swing trade and can take a scalping can trade with a reversal and can trade with the trend all in one and the precision auto trade it is especially made does not require any filter because it's very good precision entry and in the same time uh, it's a very friendly use for beginners even if you uh, know how to use ninja trader but there is a majority of the traders um, maybe they know how to use ninja trader but uh, they're not familiar with the uh, auto trading and uh, or they got old and now they wanted to use auto trade because no longer they are able to concentrate for eight hours and i'm one of them i get tired after three four hours you know so Uh, I want to show the ES we got lucky with a little movement here and uh, we 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 took a little trade here and we nailed 1775 but that's not what I want to show uh, even on a smaller time frame today even on the smaller time frame if we look at the trades they are very small there is hardly any movement and that's uh, making a lot of trades that's fine uh, we got lucky with this chart that finished before 10 o'clock and then nailed the daily target. I want to show another example, the three minutes. Look how small trades they are. Very small trade on a three minutes chart. So in a way, it is pity. It's not even a scalping. It was just sometimes they were closing on the same bar, the three minutes, and, and the daily target is 1,000 finally we got a little movement on the nasdaq and then we hit it and we we closed the trade on 12 20. what i'm trying to explain to you my point here is not about bragging about pnl because i'm always against just talking about pnl a uh, pnl it is also depend on the man who's driving the the, the auto trade what time he started the knowledge of when to start the auto trade and knowledge when to stop uh the only one really uh, did some you can see some nice movement it was the 170 ticks which i have highlight uh, on my previous video about the 170 ticks uh on the on the precision auto trade is a very consistent very stable uh, auto trade based on 170 ticks so this one here because on a tick chart we can see a larger trade so Please, for the amateur trading, don't just look at the PNL. It could be by luck today that chart made one thousand dollar, but tomorrow, if this market not moving, you're not gonna see the thousand dollars. So it is not just the PNL we need to concentrate on. What we need also to look at why today we make one thousand dollar, why this uh, today we lost one thousand dollar, why this market is moving this way, why the problem today. I'm normally finish my trade around 11 o'clock today I'm sitting at 2 o'clock I'm not making money what's wrong with this auto trade nothing wrong with the auto trade this this doesn't matter which auto trade you are using 
sometimes the condition of the market movement sometimes in the market movement you have a bar moving forward two bars backward or vice versa which every time the auto trade calculate the ticket trade the market turn around the opposite direction so we need to evaluate what's going on in the market being a blind and shooting with the closed eyes your chances in 2022 is very thin and the probability you will be out of that game within the first three months if we look at the uh, ES three minutes is the same story as the Nasdaq it is not much movement uh, in there but we we made it but we hardly made it on the two minutes it's the same story you can see how small trades they are because of the market movement and it is 1200 Nasdaq this is another Nasdaq at three minutes it's the same story but it's a different account with a different template on this Nasdaq here at three minutes we nailed 3260 on this template here we nailed 1220 on the ES three minutes 1350 on this one here 1400 is almost the same on the YM two minutes and what we got lucky with the YM because this auto trade not to just trade in with the trend it takes reversal and he hit a reversal right there and this is what really got us because first when you are auto trading there is three elements if one of the elements is missing you are in trouble already when the auto trade is only plus or minus there is no such a things in the market is just long or short there is a sideway one of the sideway is is missing in your auto trade it's like you're driving a car and missing one wheel That's why you see uh, there is a lot of yellow here preventing the auto trade to take the trades where is the yellow. If we look where is this yellow here, it is based on a price line, not a dummy moving average called ATR or a MACD. What really saved us here on the YM is the market is a flat and the market did not trend. This auto trade can predict reversals as well took one reversal and called it off because if you see the bars are red but it took a reversal and that's what saved us and that chart is the reversal is a very friendly use auto trade for a guy who's been around the ancient trader takes him a couple of days to learn that On the CL 22nd, it's 1020. There is one thing you have to understand, which we have covered on the live videos on the other channel, which I think tomorrow is due to start uh, the live channel. Uh, I think it is tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we have covered a lot when we are teaching the public that when you see a flat market on the ES, why am um, NASDAQ with your eyes closed you go on the CL you find some movement and the reason is the older guys then the ones not this uh, young guy come in he want to kick butts in the market because he have couple thousand and he wants auto trade he want to double up his money every day not this type those guys uh, they come and go very fast but those guys, they're the older guys, they've been around for around the block. When they see problems on the ES movement, when they see there is a problem on the NASDAQ, YM, they're not synchronizing. Usually they flip on the CL and there is movement on the CL. Every time you see there is a problem with the ES NASDAQ down zones, look at your CL chart, you'll find it is kicking. And that it is an advantage to learn how to manage your auto trades and when you are looking at the market in the morning morning you gotta see what is efficient today 
And our package that is 15 different automated to trade for the price of one somebody else is selling one lousy ATR. The 15 auto trade we have in the package is not for fun. I'm not to mark anyone why we have 15. Because you have reversal, you have a swing trading, you have a scalping. You have people that want to trade overnight because of their location. You have people that want to trade between 9.30 and 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. You have some people that, that want to trade in the afternoon. There are some people who have $2,000 account. You have some people who have $250,000 account. You have some people who have $25,000 account. Some people want to take risks. Some people, they want it to be safer in the market. Some clients, they want to have one or two trades a day. Another client, he wants to have 20 trades a day. Traders come in different color and different size and different mood. On the CL10 range, it is what you see here. What really saved us again here today because we in the reality guys when you've been around 27 years around the market in 27 years you try everything you try stocks you try forex you try trading this way and this way and this way you've seen a lot in my experience the reversal has more money than trading with the trend most of the amateur trading they try to get in middle of the trend and then they get whacked with it whether you are auto trading or manual trading you never if you miss a trade you cannot jump in in the market middle of the trend because it could be about time to turn around on both of direction especially if you don't have a trained eye even if you are auto trading is irrelevant an auto trading is just an autopilot on an airplane and uh, you still have to take over if something goes wrong In my previous experience and now, and in those previous years, what I find out is the the reversal, the money is in the reversal, not is with the trend. The problem is to educate people how to trade with reversal, because which we have covered a lot on the other channel, the secret about how to trade reversal and the fun part, one time one of my clients uh, called me, he said, come and look at this guy, what he's saying. And it was one guy training people, and he said, there is no such a thing called reversal because he don't know how to reverse the market. He was born yesterday in the trading. The money is in the reversal. That's why we have a huge variety of trading with the reversal, from a symmetry auto trade to this, uh, and there is also on the other auto trade the trick with the reversal is to catch the trend from the beginning till the end however if you don't understand the market on the reversal it can burn your fingers you have to be very well educated to understand the principle of auto trading or manual trading with reversal because sometimes the reversal can save your day and this is a living proof. This is the second chart. What saved us today, 1900, is not trading with the trend. What saved us is when the auto trade decided to reverse the market, he took the swing for today, the spike for today, and it was closed right on time where the market is flat and there is nothing to, to trade anymore. If the auto trade took a trade in here, there is nothing in here. It's irrelevant. This is a very serious chart this is a 10 range chart this is no game with that and if we notice here this market stayed for hours in a way is a flat so what really saved us for that trade today is the reversal trade and the auto trade has to spot that reversal and that what make it unique this precision auto trade because it's not a dummy ATR on a moving average plus and minus because why those they they can be disaster when the market is a flat 
and you are using it just a dummy moving average. This when it goes above moving average, and the market turn around, you're gonna lose money. And if the market keep going around this range, your auto trade is gonna start making the trades and and start losing trades. So in 2022, you're no longer come out out of date systems 20 years old and you're gonna uh, you're gonna sit and compete with a guy he has knowledge and he have better tools than you are when you are auto trading you have to remember you're not the only one auto trading when you are auto trading you have to understand there is institutionals in there today they pull uh, one on us on the Nasdaq at the beginning of the opening hours on the Nasdaq, they pulled one on us, they dropped the Nasdaq, and then turn around and go back to the same level. Go back to your Nasdaq and you will see it. When you are auto trading, you have to understand that if somebody else has better knowledge than you are, is auto trading. When you are auto trading, you have to remember that if somebody else have better tools than you are, better equipped, better educated than you are, for every dollar you make in the market, there is somebody else losing. You cannot be 100 trader, 100 traders making money and no one is losing money. So for every dollar you're making here, somebody else lost. What makes you win over that trader, whatever he is from, is because your timing on the trade was better than his and your auto trade was better than him and your educated person better than he is you're not gonna go and take your money from somebody else is better equipped and better educated than you you always make your money from the guy is less experienced than you are in the trading and when you are auto trading and you're making money your money has been made from somebody's naivety in the market and he is unqualified to be trading and this is where you make your money from it's not from the market if you're making your money from somebody else mistake from somebody else have less knowledge from you from somebody else is less equipped than you from somebody else have less gears than you On the ES 30 second, it was a perfect trade, smaller time frame, which nailed 23, 25, and we got lucky with that because it's a smaller time frame. On a smaller time frame, you get a good movement, but if you don't have a good entry, the smaller time frame can work against you. In another word, if you are using 30 seconds or 20 seconds or 10 seconds, the small frequency, and you have a dummy auto trade taking left and right to trades, that is gonna cause a lot of losses. If you have an auto trade, it's gonna sit on a standby, not activate on every bumper in the market on a smaller time frame, and find the perfect timing to enter the market perfect exit this is what I call success so let's take the same auto trade the same auto trade took that trade and we got it right another person started trading here he will lose money this is an answer for uh, the guys which you hear a lot how much you think I make tomorrow I don't know and they get surprised when I say or when they call me you know I have two thousand dollars I've been fussing with the ninja trader for a couple of years I'm not asking for much I'm just asking 100% every day how much you think your auto trade will make me tomorrow can I borrow it for a couple of weeks, test driving it? How are you gonna test drive it if you don't have the proper education? 
how are you going to test drive it if you don't have the technical chart? How are you going to read the technical chart if you don't know what you're looking for? What you're going to do with this auto trade? Test drive it for one week, install it on you, waste half of our day activating your license, and you don't know what's going on in the market. It's just wasting time for me and you. So, if we look at this place here, it was a perfect timing again on the auto trade. If you started here, you are going to lose money. The same auto trade, the same time frame, different timing, different results. Again, the auto trade is not just a coffee machine. You turn on in the morning and uh, you come back after five minutes, you find coffee. This is not an ATM machine, which sadly, the expectation of the auto trades has become very unrealistic. And I don't blame the clients thinking this way. I blame the commercials that when somebody pull 30 range chart with $5,000 stop loss to gain $300, occupying those amateur traders with a little small trade here and there, pre-made. And the guy is not asking why your stop loss is $3,000 on one trade to get 300 because they're not looking hard on that. Again, what saved us today, I'm, I'm concentrating today on the, on the, on the uh, reversal because what, what you can see today, the majority of those trades that were not tra trending with the trend, what saved us. What really saved us is the reversal trade which I have revealed a lot of secrets about the reversal trade to the public on a YouTube, on the other channel, how you can approach the reversal, how you can trade the reversal, how you can be success. And it is the easiest way, if you are disciplined, it is the easiest way to understand the, the structure of the reversal, how you can reverse the market, how you can take a profit trading with the trend and reverse the market. Again on 28 second, look between 28 second and, and, and 30 second, there is only two seconds different. On this one here, took on the proper timing, even when it was in positive, the EAS took the trade before it hit the short position, look at this, you see? So the, the trade, listen gentlemen, it's not the PNL, again. The auto trade predicted is going to be short before it happened, a couple bars before and nailed it. It was ready when the market goes down. When the market took down, the auto trade took that trade ahead of time predicting the perfect entry and the perfect time. Not here, not here, not here, here. When this auto trade took that trade, it was one way direction. If it was a dummy auto trade, he could have taken it from the first bar, the second bar, the third bar, the fourth bar. On the fifth bar, when he got into the trade, nailed it, done, 1100. So again, it's not what the auto trade can make for you, it's what you can learn in any given market, whether you are Forex, future, whatever you are trading. It is understand how the trades are taken and the timing of the trades. It is the most important. A lot of newbies, sometimes they come in, they become a member. The first things they call on Monday, what time you think I should turn on the auto trade? I don't know. Look at your chart. I haven't looked at my chart. It's 7.30. You know, again, on this NASDAQ here is 275 takes. It took one trade, two trade, and it is finished. And it was 11.85. I'm not going to make it long today. I'm just going to have a quick... 
on a different, totally different type of an auto trade called the TI7. It's more advanced auto trade. I'm not going to drag all the trades or all the charts down. This is a total different auto trade and this is a total different entry. On the TI7 there is around 10 different entries, a huge variety of filters to cut the trade the way you want them, to cut your risk the way you want it. You can trim down your trade to two trades a day and you can activate swing trading. On the TI7 there is three different scalping and many different entries and there is one entry for a higher time frame which we will be covering uh, very soon for a huge trade which we have done today on our private webinars for our members only we have covered how you can catch a huge trade and you can take small trades and as and this one here I mean there is, we cannot cover everything, uh, all the auto trades we have. We just take a snapshot of just a couple auto trades. We're going to start showing, which we didn't show that much, the institutional auto trade, which I will be start showing from tomorrow. We did a major update on the institutional. has not been released. It will be released very soon. We have, we constantly re update our clients around maybe I don't know 25 30 times a year non-stop we are working updating just to keep up with the market because here it is if you don't update your system constantly uh, your system will fall behind you always have to keep your eye how this market what we are expecting this year volatility what we expecting the ranges, what expecting, how much more the S&P is going to climb for this year. Do we have a drop? Do we have a correction? You know, this is our job to worry about. For the clients is to worry about the daily basis. So uh, this is uh, YM, uh, the last one uh, for today. And then I wanted to s s prove my point here. Uh, this is one here, total different auto trade. And it's the same story. Very small trades, very small trades. Now, if we wanted to widen the stop loss and the trailing stop, yes. But then you have to widen your, 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 you see, with auto trading, it's balance because if you put too much filters in there, if you put too much filter, then the entry will be very late and probably the market is about to turn around. If you don't put any filter in the auto trade, you might bump into a trade. Not important, it's just noises. Then you can get in trouble. So what is the auto traders is always based not to tie the nuts too much and not to lose the nuts. It has to find balance. When the trader is by himself, we train him, but eventually he has to start understand how to adjust the balance in his trading and adjust his eye to the technical analysis in the morning just for five minutes to see this market if is this market moving if you don't feel good about it wait five minutes ten minutes and turn on your auto trade that can save you a lot of money the worst things i don't like about auto trades if the first trade is a losing trade i don't like it it's very important i don't look at pnl but for me it is important the first trade to be winning trade. The reason for that, let's say this auto trade took a first trade and it is $200 into the plus. Now I'm more comfortable. Why? Because now I can afford one losing trade to break even 
Then if the auto trade lost one trade, now two trades, now I'm even, it's not costing me anything. The secret also with auto trading, which a lot of people don't understand, which I have seen it on some other uh, commercials, the stop loss is a huge, 100 takes, 500 takes. That is a disaster, that is a suicide. So it is also very important how much is costing me that trade. You know, you cannot be that generous with your stop loss. So, in any given market, I don't like to give no more than 10 ticks. Because if we have, let's say, 10 ticks of stop loss, I have a three lousy bad trades. That's 30 ticks. It takes one trade to recover all of it. But when you have 50 and 100 ticks of stop loss, you're not going to able to recover your losses for today just from one trade. So fo folks, especially the amateur trader, don't look at the PNL as much as keep your eye on how the auto trade behave under stress. I don't know about your jobs, but in my previous job as an aircraft engineer, we put the aircraft to maximum stress before you ride in it. And the same story in the trading. We need to see how that auto trade behave under a stress market. Is he going to survive or not? For the ones they say, can I borrow your auto trade? I've been doing this, I can trade a chart. Give me any minute a chart with no color, no indicator. I can trade it without any indicator, anything. I can, I can predict it. If you give me an auto trade today, I have knowledge with the market. I have built many auto trades. We have two full-time programmers. I'm always kicking them with that. I always trying to see how to make. I've been around. If you give me an auto trade today and you tell me, test this auto trade for me, Sam. After 27 years experience developing I'll tell you, come back in three weeks to tell you how I feel about it. Why? Because I cannot take an auto trade on Sunday and put it to work on Monday, even on SIM. Because I need to understand how this auto trade works under stress, how this auto trade is getting filled, where is his weakness, that auto trade? Where he brights out the most? How he survive in a choppy market? How he survive in a flat market? I don't look at the PNL. In order for me to look at the PNL, I have to understand how he behave before I start looking at the PNL. Then you have a guy come in. He's been losing trades all his life and he wants to test an auto trade, borrow an auto trade for a couple of weeks. That indicate that man, he will never make money because he's still thinking about PNL and not understand the learning process. Those type of people we have no bread with and we don't want them to be our customers. There's a plenty out there for them. We don't want them. The reason this kind of guy, if he's not willing to learn the structure of trading, we don't want him to sit 10 years learning price action and pay us money. The education is free. Learning the auto trades is free. I wish I had somebody 27 years ago telling me I can educate you for free. We, everything we did, we paid for in full, high money. 
so for those type of people, whether they are purchasing from our company or somebody else's company, in 2022, they will not survive. They have $5,000. They will be losing it within a couple of three months. They will be on some kind of uh, forum somewhere where everyone has abused them and it was a bad auto trade and uh, didn't make money. He, you don't see a guy saying, I should have learned before I start using the real money. You, know, you don't see anyone on the net saying that. He will say, Ninja Trader treated him wrong. The auto trade treated him wrong. It was very stressful in the house. There is many stories, sad story, because of the denial of him f as a failure in the trading is blinding his eye, understand, this is not an ATM machine. This is not an auto trade. And when you talk to him like what I'm saying right now, he thinks it's nothing but rubbish. And then what he does, he goes somewhere else, he buy an auto trade. There's nothing to support that auto trade except learn how to optimize. Certain alone with no feedback, no training, and he gets stuck with an auto trade, scared to turn it on because he don't know what he's doing. He don't know if his auto trade is gonna make 10,000 today or lose 10,000. The reason is because he's not reading the market. Those type of people, they're gonna be out of that game in 2022 by first quarter or the second quarter. The ones going to survive in 2022, only the knowledgeable people with the right gears. There's a plenty of right gears. I'm not talking about my software. I'm talking about there is plenty. But if the auto trade does not come back with backup system, training, updating, babysitting, that mechanical trade, your chances to see flying elephant are more than making it in this market. And I will say it as is, which I'm very famous about it. I'll say things as is. So I don't need to put butter on it. So guys, here is a message to everyone out there, whether you are my client or somebody else's client. I have no bread with you which maybe my brokers don't like me to say that, turn off your life account at whatever you are doing, manual or auto trading. If you don't see yourself, you are consistent. It does not mean, I'm sorry to say that you're not smart one. The, the market does not require smart ones. The market requires disciplined training like you are a soldier, you go to an army, they train you, the discipline, the discipline is, have a huge impact. Discipline of trading, timing, because always the market surprise us every single day. The market do what we are not expecting to see for today. Let me give you an example. Everyone on Bitcoin, every channel on Bitcoin on the last couple months before New Year's Eve everyone predicted 100,000 the one they put extra dose in their cigarettes they went up to 200 because whatever they're smoking every single channel about Bitcoin they were using pattern if you go back to my videos I criticize those people I said you cannot trade pattern. What happened, the Bitcoin hit 15 times 47 level and today it broke the 47 level. He never seen the 100,000 because what happened yesterday, it will never happen tomorrow. Some people pull the, the, the charts from 2014 or 15 or 2000. What happened seven years ago does not mean there is a pattern in here. And they all predicted 100. 
If you go back to the video, I said, I don't believe in pattern and you were never able to predict the $100,000 for the Bitcoin because if you are looking at pattern, it's not going to work for you. The only time you can predict the Bitcoin when you turn on your chart in the morning. If you wanted to have one Bitcoin one day to give it to your children, yes, buy it at any price, put it on a cold wallet, and then one day you toss it to your children, absolutely it will be profit or zero. On a day trading, on the other office, we have a bunch of Brits and they are extremely professional traders and they are trade 10x, 100x and they are wolf in the market. They are wolf in the market and you know and and uh, but they are a different they've been around 25 years trade on a daily basis they know what they're doing they don't auto trade they go 100x 20x they overmerge themselves they know what they are doing one day they have they make 40,000 one day they lose 40,000 they know the system they know how to to what is the market all about they know the risk you know but when a guy come in he don't have wings weak and and don't get the proper education don't don't take the trading seriously is looking at the trading and automated trading as a just an atm machine those people they're going to be filtered and they are going to be completely out of the game by the first quarter or the second quarter of this year. This year is the most important year in the financial industry. A lot of things, there is a lot of stocks I never dreamed to go short on. Now I'm considering to go short on. All the financial industry, the bank industry, the, 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 there's a lot of things, I don't wanna get into it right now. I'm not your financial advisor, but there is so many stocks right now there is some stocks that are going to fly by next year, double up. And I, I don't want to go through it right now. Maybe later on on the other channel. But there is some other stocks I never thought consider shorting out those stocks because they are very consistent. But now I'm moving in on shorting out those stocks for next year because they're not going to make it. Which those stocks, they've been making money for the last 20 years. And now they're not anymore. They're running out of steam. And the whole financial market has changed directions. So right now we have a bunch of retailers start taking in charge with the trades more the, than the institutionals. We have, we have now more mature trading. They've been around and I can see it from my traders we have some clients, they are 10 years old, 12 years old with us. They are on a total different level. They become very independent traders, very consistent, very, they have the, both of their feet on the ground. So those wave, they came in five years ago to the trading and they have a brain and they figure out that they need to learn. Now they start being in charge with the market and they don't need uh, a bank or a broker uh, to control their money or they can do it by themselves with the stocks or anything. So right now, the, 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 the whole things, the whole financial thing has changed in 2022. I've never seen it like this before. And turn off your, uh, your life account if you're not consistent, pull back this next couple months, try to get educated, whatever from, there's plenty out there. Don't pay for it, get it free. Try to develop your own trading. You don't need to pay anyone. You don't need to pay to be in the room. It's wasting money. Don't do that. Try to develop your own trading. And then when you become an auto trader, you know what's going on in the market. When you're auto trade taking a trade, you're not looking at PNL. You say this trade is going to go through or not. Why today I'm getting small trades? 
why I'm getting a big trades, why my auto trade today is under stress, why my auto trade finished in half an hour, why my auto trade has been trading for three hours and has not hit the target. So those are very serious folks. Trading is a very serious matter. It's not an ATM machine. And uh, maybe you're gonna brush me off what I'm saying, but you're gonna go back to this video in two months when your account is clean. And then you say, I wish I listened to Sam. Folks, um, uh, I think tomorrow we have, I don't know, I need to look at my calendar. I have, uh, uh, we're gonna go on the other channel live. I think it's tomorrow or the next Tuesday, but I'm sure it's tomorrow. I wanna say happy new year to your loved ones, your family. And uh, I'm sorry being rough with my talking. It's just, if this can save 5%, put their head together and not wasting their money. Losing money is very easy. Regain the, mark, the money you lost in the market is a challenge. You can lose $50,000 a day in the market, but gaining those 50000 it can take your lifetime. Thank you very much. God bless you all, and we'll see you probably tomorrow live on the other channel. Bye for now.